the biggest Friday nights of Johnny Kemp's career, presented by Soulful Charts. Now I admit, I'm not much of a dancer. I can hit the floor with my little one-two step, but that's about it. Despite my lack of dazzling dance moves, I got love for party records, especially the ones drenched in soulful sweat. A party record sounds good in the car, at the crib, and in the neighborhood, but you can't really appreciate the vibe of a great dance record until you groove into it at the club on a Friday night with hundreds of other party people. The name of this new Soulful Chart series is Just Got Paid, inspired by the title and song lyric of Johnny Kemp's 1988 New Jack Swing hit. Just Got Paid, Friday Night. So in this series, we highlight hip hop and R&B party songs of the past that were hot in the clubs during the peak of their popularity on the Billboard charts. Here's the criteria. The party record must have been at its peak popularity. That means in the top 10 or pretty close on the hip hop and R&B singles chart and the dance club songs chart around the same time period. FYI, the dance club songs chart basically highlights the top songs being played in the clubs. Which records were the DJs spending on Friday nights and all of the places to be, the clubs, throughout soul music history. In the Just Got Paid series, we celebrate the soulful jams that were tailor made to get club goers out on the dance floor. So naturally, we're going to set off this series with the song that has inspired it, Just Got Paid by Johnny Kemp. Released on March 29th, 1988, Just Got Paid debuted two weeks later on April the 9th, 1988 on the R&B chart and the Dance Club Songs chart respectively. Five weeks later, the week of May the 14th, the party record moved into the top 10 on both charts. It was number 7 on the R&B chart and number 8 on the club chart. Just Got Paid spent Six Friday nights in the top 10 on both charts. Out of those six dates, the party record's biggest Friday night was on June the 3rd, 1988. That's when Just Got Paid was number one on the R&B chart and number two on the club chart. The song reached number one on the club chart two weeks later. So were you in the club getting your party on after you just got paid during those six weeks in 1988? Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button and leave your thoughts in the comments. Have a soulful music topic you would like to see featured on Soulful Charts? Let me know and maybe I'll give it a go in an upcoming episode. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell in order to be notified when new videos get released. And one more thing, share this channel with other connoisseurs of soul music. Peace.